Hey, Trunk Host, first of all, thank you. Thank you so much for volunteering to host a trunk at our Trunk or Treat event. What a great gift of your time and of your love. This is a great event. It's our largest outreach of the year. And I hope you know this is more than just something fun that we do. This is really a gift to our community. As you know, thousands of people come to this event and we have people who are in our church because of this event. You know, they don't necessarily show up the next Sunday, but what happens is it gets them onto the property. It gets them to realize that uh, we're here and that we're generous people, that we're kind people. And you know what? Sometimes the way spiritual journeys work is that sometime in the future, people who may not be thinking about God, that we're just looking for something fun to do uh, with, the, for, with their kids, something that was safe uh, and secure, you know, later in their life, um, they have a spiritual need or a longing for God, a need in their life. Maybe maybe they lose their job. Maybe they're going through divorce. Uh, maybe something's going on and they have that spiritual tug and they have that opening in their life where they want to uh, seek God out. And you know, part of our mission statement as a church is to help people who are far from God find God, you know, break free, discover their purpose, you know, and change the world. Well, that starts with them finding God. And so what we want them to do is to find God and we want them to, they're going to look for a church. And often they're going to just say, hey, you know what? There's that church that did that truck retreat and it was a fun time. They seemed like nice people. Uh, they get over that stereotype of Christians being, you know, weird, judgmental people that the world projects and they end up walking through our doors on a Sunday morning. And so that's why we do this every year. And um, and so thank you so much. I know it's a lot. It's three hours long. I promise you, if you haven't done this before, it goes fast. Uh, but feel free to recruit some friends and family members so that you guys uh, can trade off, someone can get a break. Um, if you're like dying to go to the restroom or something, let uh, one of our staff know. We can maybe relieve you for a minute or something or or let the trunk next to you uh, know. But yes, please do be there for the whole time. Thank you for that and fantastic. So the event is from one to four. I wanna just give you a couple of quick pointers. Um, the earlier you arrive, the better. We're providing lunch. We're grilling hot dogs and we'll have chips and we'll have some water there. Um, so don't worry about lunch. We're it lunches on us. So get there early. The event starts at noon. We have to be ready at noon. And sometimes it starts early because people are lighting up. And if everyone's ready to go, we'll, we, we may start a little early, not very early, maybe five minutes early. Um, but we're lit, people are literally going to be lighting up because they are anticipating uh, this event. So um, at least an hour early. But imagine with parking over 20 cars, um, it can get a little crazy. And um, so you, you'll, you'll see that map uh, that, that we will send you. Um, when you come in from the low side, it's gonna be that first uh, turn, all right? And so you're gonna pull in there all the way in by the building. That's where there's a ramp uh, to pull around. And then uh, some of us, probably myself or someone else, will be guiding you to uh, the spot. We're not pre-assigning the spots because we're gonna assign people as you arrive so that we can just be parking them in order, all right? And um, so we're gonna um, be doing that. So uh, get here as early as you can. You, I mean, we're there at nine in the morning. If you wanna come super early and snag your spot um, and then just help with some of the other setup and logistics or just tailgate and chill, um, that's fine too. You can come as early as nine. I'd say you don't need to, you know, 10, 10, 30 be great, but definitely, uh, by 11 o'clock you should be pulling in because pretty soon um, everything else is going up and then we're going to be starting to have to barricade things and you won't be able to get in um, after that so please be there um, by 11 at the latest an hour before so you can decorate your car and set things up and have your food enjoy the fellowship and the camaraderie now when it comes to passing out the candy Every year we've had this problem where we run out of candy. It doesn't matter how much candy we have. And we always have plenty of candy. And then we're like running over to Walmart or Sam's and buying all kinds of candy and it's crazy. So I have to chastise a few of you. I don't know who you are, but some people get a little too generous with the candy. So um, I have a saying that I always say, and it's that we love the kids in the third hour as much as we love the kids in the first hour. So I know they're cute. I know they're adorable. I know you want to reward the great uh, costumes, but it really is one or two pieces per kid. And you got to stick to that because we can't be giving out handfuls of candy to the kids. All right. So this year we're doing something a little different. We're not going to be going around refilling 
constantly because what happens is we run out. We do have enough candy for the whole event. We have tons of candy. We have bought lots of candy. We've spent almost two grand on candy. Plus you guys in our church uh, have been generous donating candy. There's no reason for us to run out of candy unless people in the trunks are giving out too much candy, all right? So this year we're trying something new where we are giving you your candy for the first hour. We're giving you plenty of candy. We've done the math on how much candy you can give out per second, you know, per minute for an hour. So you're gonna have your candy for the first hour. So you're gonna need to ration that candy. Now, if there's an emergency and someone's legit like out of candy, I'm sure we're gonna take care of you, but we're not gonna be going around just constantly refilling the candy. We're gonna have all the candy uh, in three big piles in our candy stash. Um, first hour candy, second hour candy, third hour candy. And we're not touching hour two candy and hour three candy until hour two and hour three. Does that make sense? Because we've got to ration this. We can't be creating an emergency uh, that doesn't actually exist. Um, and so please uh, be careful uh, with the candy. And um, you know, if it's a big candy, just give them one. There is a ton of other trunks and the kids are going around. They're getting candy in other places as well. And uh, we just want we just want to be wise with the candy. Not stingy, but wise with the candy. Um, because some of the kids are gonna go through twice. And that's okay, we're not policing that. But there's also tons of other things to do there. There's face painting, there are balloon artists, there's a magic show, there's all the bounce houses, there's a petting zoo, all right? There's tons of other things to do. So I doubt kids are gonna be like going through nonstop. Um, but you know, if you see a kid go through twice, you know, you don't have to chastise them or whatever, but do make sure they know all the other events that are going on there um, at the event and encourage them to do uh, those things as well. So my main things to encourage you is come early, uh, get your spot, enjoy it. I would bring some folding chairs. It could be a long time to be on your feet. Um, it's hard to do the whole job the whole time sitting down, but I know you, if there's ever a lull, you'll wanna take advantage of that and sit down. Uh, please respect the one or two pieces of candy. If they're big candies, one. If they're little, you know, Tootsie Rolls or Jolly Ranchers, you know, give them two or whatever. Um, but watch your your stash, all right? And um, and then just uh, enjoy the time. Be sure to say, see on Sunday, see on Sunday. Remember, our goal is to invite people to church. So that could be one of the things that you constantly say. Um, there's not gonna be a lot of time for conversation because the kids are on the move. As you're planning your trunks, uh, please don't plan um, games or activities. We did that in the past when the trunks were the main event and we had hundreds of people, not thousands. So we don't wanna create things that are gonna cause lines. Uh, we we wanna keep it moving, all right? So uh, please, at this point, we're just giving out candy. So don't plan a, a game, tossing games or things that are gonna create a line. Um, we're discouraging that now because we really wanna keep it moving because um, we literally have thousands of people coming to this event and lots of people going through the trunk. So um, just just decorate, just hand out candy, greet people with a big smile and say, see you on Sunday, um, you know, happy Halloween, whatever you wanna say. And, um, and let them uh, let them know we're so glad that they're here and compliment their their costumes and things like that um, and be a, be a great time. If you have any questions, uh, let our trunk coordinator, Lisa, know. Uh, she will be roaming around, checking on you. Uh, let me know. You can always email me or text me. Um, that's absolutely fine. And um, if you have any other needs that you have, we don't have electricity at the trunk, so you should know that ahead of time. Um, if you've got an idea where you absolutely think you've got to have power, you need to talk to us about ahead of time. Um, we probably can't, but maybe um, you just, but you got to coordinate ahead of time because we've got to power 10 bounce houses and, uh, and we're doing like crazy stuff to get that much power to all the trunks. Um, so we probably won't have electricity um, if we're able to do that. That's a big if we would have to plan for that ahead of time by where we put you and how we would get power to you because um, that's, that's, a, that's a big ask. Um, so at this point, plan on not having power, unless you really, 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 really think you need it, um, then we would need to talk about that in advance. So, so you can't show up expecting power. So um, that's all I've got for you. Thanks for being a part of this. Uh, pray that God would give us good weather, that uh, lots of people would come, that they would experience God's love and God's joy through us, through you, and that uh, it would just be a great time of us sharing God's love in a tangible way with our community. Thanks so much. Bye.